Hello everyone and welcome to your second PHP MySQL login tutorial. And uh, today we're going to start coding the login system. And to start off with you're going to want to open index.php that we created in the previous video. So once we've opened this we're going to start coding in HTML to start off with. So uh, we're going to create HTML tags. And even if you've never done HTML before, this is really simple code. You, you know, you can pick it up really easily and it's pretty much self-explanatory. So now we're going to create some body tags and these are where um, all of the code will go. Now within these we're going to have to create a form. And what this will do is it will hold the username, the password and the submit button. So, and so the form action is what page we're going to submit all the data to. So we're going to submit that to the login page, so login.php. And the method that we're going to send it there is post. So you type post all in capitals, and then we'll do an ending form tag. So now the first input we're going to have, so f input type is going to be equal to text and the name will have as user so this will be the username field and let's put this in here and we'll just give this some text at the beginning so people know what it is so we'll just say username and we'll do the same for a password down here and for the password we're going to have the type as password so it will uh, put a character instead of the text so people can't see what the password is and we'll set the name equal to pass Right now what we're going to do is just add a line break here and then have the submit button so the input type equals submit and now instead of having name because we don't need to name it we'll just give it a value so what will appear on the button and so we'll just have login so that should be it so if we save this and open up our web browser if we type localhost slash and whatever you name the folder that you're storing it all in so in my case my sequel login and then the name of the file so index.php and here we've got username where we can enter our text password where it will come up uh, all counted out and a login button that will load us to login.php so that's all working nicely now what we need to do is uh, um, code the login.php page because that's the next page that it will go to and on this page we're going to be coding in PHP so we can connect to the database and from that retrieve information from it so if we start with our PHP tags and then put <coughs> um, we're going to need a few variables the first one will be called username and this is not for the login but for the database so in the previous tutorial we created a username which is root by default and we set the password for that e equal to uh, test123 so we'll create another one for password set that equal to uh, no it was test123 sorry and then we need the host name and in our case that's localhost which we're running on a local server <coughs> but if you were doing this for an online website it might be an IP address or a name depending on how you're setting it up but in our case it's localhost so we'll leave it at that now what we need to do using this information is connect to the database so we're going to create another variable called, D, called database handle so for short we'll just put db handle and this will handle the connection to the database so if it equals mysql underscore connect and as parameters we need the host name 
the username and the password. And instead of putting a semicolon here, what we're going to do is type or die and then leave an error message and we'll say could not connect to database. So all this means is if for some reason we can't connect to the database, instead of seeing a blank page, the user will see an error message pop up just to make it a bit more user friendly. So then our semicolon there. And now what we need are the user's details that they entered on this page here. So what we're going to do is create another two variables. So the first one for the username we'll call my username. So the one that uh, us, the user, or whoever's doing it, entered, and we'll set that equal to dollar underscore post, and that's because we set it equal to post here, so we need it as dollar underscore post. And then in square brackets and um, some apostrophes, we're going to set it equal to the name of what we set it to here. And if you remember, we set it to user, so here we're going to have user and we're going to do my password and set this equal to underscore post and pass now um, what what we're going to do now is protect from something called MySQL injection and what this is it's a technique that hackers use to get into MySQL powered login systems and it's really easy to protect from we just need another um, we just need to use these two variables up here so my username and we're going to set this equal to a function called strip slashes and as I said this just protects it from MySQL injection and as a parameter we're going to have itself so it's protecting itself essentially from MySQL injection now we're going to do the same for the password so strip slashes and my password. So now we've done that <coughs> and we've connected to the database hopefully successfully what we need to do is create what's called a SQL query and what this is it's a piece of code that will run and return a result so the code that's going to run will check whether the uh, information that the user entered is equal to the information in the database so to do this we need to create a variable that will hold the query so we'll just call it query and set it equal to um, this code here now this is important that it's in double quotations not single because we'll be using single within it so if we set it to select all in capitals and I'll explain what this means once we've got it and then you need the asterisk sign which is uh, shift 8 then from all in capitals and the table that we're using is called users where all in capitals again and um, the what we're selecting here is the username so username and we're checking whether that's equal to and now this bit in single quotations if that's equal to the variable my username so what so what the first bit's checking is whether the <coughs> sorry what <coughs> sorry got a bit of a cough there um we're checking whether the uh, information in the database equals what the user entered so the select asterisk that means select all that's what the asterisk is short for so it's selecting everything from the table users where the username equals what the username that the user entered and we also want to do the same for the password so we type and oh, and uh, just here and the password equals my password so now what we need to do is receive the result from this query and store that in a variable so we're going to need another one and we'll call it result because it's going to hold the result whether that's um, some information that's correct because it's equal 
to the what the user entered or whether it's not because the user entered incorrect information. So it's going to equal MySQL underscore query and we're querying the query that we created so query just like that. Now what we need to do is see how many results we get back. So if we get zero results it's incorrect, if we get one it's correct and we shouldn't get more than one. So we just need to create a count for this. So count equals my sequel underscore num rows and as a parameter we're checking the uh, we're counting the result. Now just to check if all of this has worked what we're going to do is create an if statement down here and we're going to check if the count equals 1. So what this is checking is if the uh, use if there is one record in the database that equals the uh, whatever the user inputted. So if the count equals 1 we're going to run some code. So and the code that we're going to run just for simplicity now is just display it worked like this. Now if we save this and I can't remember what user information we entered so I'm just going to check in PHP my admin. So if we just log in with test123 and our login database and our users table and we'll know here we've got admin and pass one two three so if we save yep it's saved so if we head over to here refresh our page and enter our information so admin and pass one two three we should be able to do either of these but if we try admin and pass one two three and log in Okay, sorry about that everyone, I've just realised why it's not working, it's because we never selected the database that we're going to uh, be using with, we only selected the table. This is a really easy fix, all we have to do is add another line of code, it's just select the database, we'll call the variable uh, selected, and we'll set it equal to my SQL select db and the database is called login and we'll connect to it using the information that we created in db handle so now if we just save this and refresh the page admin and test one two three Sorry, pass one, two, three. And there, as you can see, we have it worked. So we have correctly coded the code to connect to the database and retrieve information from it. And just to prove that it really does work, we've got login underscore system and test 100. So if we try this. And test 100 and login and here we have it. it worked again so this is the start of our work and login system please watch the next tutorial where we'll be starting to finish off our program uh, please like the video and subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video